The field marshal is waiting for news. I've got reports from four other teams who have successfully destroyed supply convoys. But one team still hasn't checked in. Is everything all right? I needed some time alone, to clear my head. I think we could all use a little of that. Especially now. I hate to interrupt this rare moment of calm, but an urgent matter requires your attention. Some very powerful Republic representatives have insisted on sharing their concerns about the hidden chain. Particularly the alarming increase in violent attacks on non-Mandalorian targets. They want a meeting with you. Yesterday, if possible. I don't understand what they're expecting to hear from me. They've got it in their heads that you know something that'll make it all go away, and even if you can't, they want to hear it straight from you. It certainly doesn't help that the increased surveillance of Shay's movements has provided nothing useful since she disappeared. We had some of our best people telling her. But if Mandalore the Avenger doesn't want to be found... Her absence during all of this has the potential to paint us in a very poor light. Let's keep this quiet. We're asking for trouble if we let the Republic hear about what's going on with Shay. I think so too. The last thing we need is them stepping in before we can come up with a game plan. Uh, speaking of, looks like our delay tactics didn't work. They're more insistent than I thought. I'll find a suitable room for the meeting. Everything will be ready when you are. Glad you could join us. Now that everyone's here, there are a few concerns I'm hoping you can clear up. We've received a full report from Arn Peralan regarding the events of Ord Mantel, but we would also like to hear things from your perspective. Now that raids perpetrated by the Hidden Chain Mandalorians have increased in quantity and intensity, it is especially urgent that we hear from anyone who has faced them. Anything you can tell us? What were the Hidden Chain after on Ord Mantel? Why are they attacking Republic worlds? That is alarming, to say the least. Is there any way we can verify this information? Master Sal Duran can investigate. I will ask her to consider this her highest priority. There's still something I'd really like to know. How did you know about the situation on Ord Mantell? Who sent you there in the first place, and why? I reminded them that you work with the Mandalorians. Most of them, anyway. I explained how that's probably where you got the intel. Yes, but I think you can see why we're starting to feel a little uncomfortable. You and your organization are part of the Republic. A valued part. But the standing of some of your people within the Republic... Well, that gets a little hazy. The Mandalorians work with you. But we never brokered official terms with them when the Alliance was absorbed by the Republic. Technically, we don't have any obligation to fight the Hidden Chain, on anyone's behalf. Not as long as they leave us alone. I won't ask you to reevaluate the cost of working with the Mandalorians. We don't have the authority to do that, or to tell you to keep them in check. But their war is creeping into Republic territory. We'll need to respond soon. Perhaps there is something we can do to support the Mandalorians in their conflict, but we would need their cooperation. We've made attempts to contact Mandalore, but they've all fallen through. Dispatches to her second-in-command have also gone unanswered. Is there any way you can connect us? I'd like to know where Shay thinks this war is heading. Ah, 
I'm sure she appreciates that hands-off approach to your partnership, but I'm a little confused. What do you mean you don't know where she is? How did you lose contact with the leader of the Mandalorians? Tell me you're not about to cut this short. I'm not comfortable leaving our conversation with this many unanswered questions. We'll be contacting you again soon. It's me. I think I just found a way to get Darth Maul's holocron away from Hedda. I can't give you all the details over holocron. Too many ears listening. Meet me on Mechshaw. When you get here, stop by the Slugfall Cantina. I'll leave you something to help find me. Remember how many you've had? I'll let you have another. Come on! Five. I've had five. See you tomorrow.
You made it. Not that I thought you wouldn't, I'm just relieved is all. It won't. The Darmanda who didn't join had to have a tight grip on this place. I picked up a lot of things hiding out on Osis. We had to. When you don't have a lot of parts to work with, you learn to adapt. My brother and I used to hide in here a lot. Rakan was always looking for a way out of chore time at the orphanage. I liked helping out, but I also liked going on adventures with Rakan, so I started hiding too. I used to dream about coming back here for him. My master never knew. I didn't want him to think that I was ungrateful or that he'd made the wrong decision, you know, taking someone who kept looking backward. But I... I think he did make the wrong decision. Maybe if I'd said it sooner, none of this would be happening. Hedda wouldn't have the holocron. She wouldn't have her con. No, but people do. Even Jedi. It doesn't matter. We're going to fix this. That holocron is dangerous. More than any of us understand, we have to get it away from Hedda. The machine that she's building, it doesn't work without Darth Null's holocron, or without the plans inside it. All we have to do is get the holocron out of there, and Hedda loses both the machine and something she never should have had in the first place. It's... um... You'll see what I mean, once we get close. The machine is on one of Hedda's most heavily guarded ships. There's only one way on it. And that's with a specially built shuttle. One they use to round up... prisoners. No, that's not... They wouldn't be Hedda's prisoners if it weren't for the machine. The machine, it... I don't really understand how it works. Something reaches out, and it's like turning on a light, or a forgotten childhood memory rushing back. If you ever thought you once felt the Force, no matter who you've become, an outlaw, a farmer, a soldier, you feel it again. Hedda said we could... I could help these people. Help them understand their connection to the Force. She said no one else would. She didn't say anything about making them fight in her war. Hedda will do anything to win. She doesn't understand the cost. She doesn't care. A gut feeling? Look, I can't explain all of it. But I know enough. I know what Hedda wants. Hedda thinks this machine will just awaken powerful soldiers ready to fight for her. But the people Hedda captures, the machine revealed their connection to the Force. It doesn't make them soldiers any more than they were before. But that doesn't matter to Hedda. She wanted me to just... Even if I wanted to, I don't know how to train anyone to fight. If we don't do something, a lot of innocent people will die. We have to destroy the machine. And we have to get as many of Hedda's prisoners as we can off that ship. I wish I had that kind of confidence. But at least I know where to start. I know where we can get the shuttle that we'll need. One of the hidden chain strike teams was sent to take captives from Hada. They must not have been too careful around the huts. They've run into trouble with the local crime lord and they're stranded there. It's a long shot. But if we can get to Hada and find out where that strike team ended up, we can steal their shuttle. It'll take us right to Hada's machine. I don't know all the details, other than the strike team was sent to the Minbusa district. It's probably best if we head there separately. It might raise too much suspicion otherwise. I'll see you there. Hey, good thing you're here. I've already had a few close calls. I'm waiting on a lead to meet with me. Come find us in the cantina.
We have a problem. I know. I keep telling myself that. This was supposed to be simple. But it might be impossible. The Hidden Chain Strike Team assigned to Hutta have to be somewhere in this district. But... Ugh, I don't know what to do. Slaves are rebelling. The Hutt in charge here locked down everything. No one's getting in or out. How do we even start looking for that shuttle? We could. It's what we should do. We came here for a reason. I don't want to stop now. Pet has ruined too many lives, and I'm not going to let her hurt anyone else. Right. We have to. Let's go. They might be able to tell us how to find that shuttle, and there has to be something we can do to help them. Get away! We're not part of the uprising! Uh, uh, tell you, Sindhu, we've got nothing to do with those thankless womp rats! First Mandalorians, now you? Those troublemakers are gonna get us all killed! None of this would be happening if everyone would just keep their heads down and their mouths shut. I don't know why anyone would think they could take on you, Sindhu, and his piles of credits. If we make a run for the shipping port, then maybe we could... <laughs> Leave us alone! No, don't! Shipping port. That's gotta be where the shuttle is. But we don't know for sure. Don't let your guard down.
Shadlar! I want them ready to move as soon as we've got a way out of this muck pit. Eyes up! Eyes up! Look who's... Aha! Don't let her walk out of here! Bring me Katine's head! Don't give them any ground! So much for getting information out of them. And I don't see the shuttle. Hey! Over here! Thank the stars you took care of those mandos. They came in a shuttle. Do you know where it is? No. But you let me out and I'll help you search for anything. One of them has to have a security key. While I put in this security code, you can tell me about that Mandalorian shuttle. Give her a second. That's all right. But just so you know, wherever that shuttle is, you're not getting anywhere near it in this lockdown. Get all of us out of here, and we can help you work around all the security. 
Move, while we still have a chance. Thank you. That's everyone. Is there somewhere safe you can go? There's a pilot commissary here that the Mandos cleared out. We'll hunker down in there. We'll put our feelers out for this shuttle you're looking for, but tracking it down could take a while. We've got a few we ideas easy pickings to speed for those Mandalorians. Just no good armor or around. weapons to protect ourselves. You could nab that kind of gear from the man. We were easy pickings for those Mandalorians. No good armor or weapons to protect ourselves. You could nab that kind of gear from the Mandos and give it to us. It'll be a win-win for everyone, except the Mandos. As if the Huts haven't taken enough from us. The swamp their pipelines made is sucking down some of the last Evokai religious structures. Scan them for me, would you? Before they're lost in that muck forever. It's hell out there, you know. Chemical burns, quicksand, getting gnawed on by wild act dogs. We don't have enough Colto to treat it all. You ever heard of Tempogen? Waste from refining to Bona gas. Add a little to our Colto stores and we can make them stretch. Too much fighting, too much shooting. It's stirring up the Zuva. Angry, swarming, attacking. You know what Zuva hate. Smell of chemilizards. Get chemilizard scent glands. Rotten, sour. But we'll keep people safe on the roads.
Ah, nice work. I'll feel better asking folks for information about that shuttle if I've got Tempogen to trade for it. No trouble for you. Scent glands will keep Zuva away, far, gone for good. There's no Zuva. There's no news about Zuva. Now I can hear things about Mandalorian shuttle. I can't begin to tell you the importance of what you've done here, friend. The second I hear something about that shuttle you're looking for, I'll pass it along. Look at that! Mandos. Overpaid security guards. They won't stand a chance against us with this stuff. And we'll have an easier time sniffing out rumors about that shuttle you're after. Good news? We found that shuttle. Bad news? It's locked up tight in the Dabana gas refinery. I know a way in. Get into the gas tunnels and look for crates with red markings. They'll lead you right into the refinery. Look! A crate with red markings. It's got to be this way. Come on! 
Don't give up! Take them down! We need to regroup. Stars. This is horrible. Someone's in charge of all these guards. Let's find them. These slaves never learned their lesson. You Sindhu will pay me triple for this. All available units. They are not slaves. Bring reinforcements! Get back! Know your place! Count this! Count this! Intruders have breached the perimeter! The Mandalorians who came here. Where is their shuttle? now. Free these people, give us the Mandalorian shuttle you confiscated, and we'll go. <laughs> Where do you think you are? Your demands mean nothing. I won't let this continue. You must know the Hot Cartel will not look kindly on this act of aggression, despite your previous feeble attempts at a partnership. Your Republic friends will regret what you have done here. I will personally ensure it. They will rue the day you dare to challenge the majestic Yusindu. on who are you no time for that you're looking for a mando shuttle right i know where to find it how did you just come on what other option do you have all right lead the way no wait we can help you i've got this if you want to help the best way is to get to our safe house i'll explain more there get to the tunnels i'll tell you over comms how to get there now go! Hurry! This is getting messier by the second. Maybe I shouldn't have blown up those gas canisters. It doesn't matter now. Let's go.
I sure hope you made it into the tunnels. Or this mm, won't make much sense. We're in the tunnels. Good. You're going to end up at an intersection with four connections. Go north from there. Once you go up the big ramp, make sure you're heading east. Did you make it to the scaffolding yet? If so, you're almost there. Am I supposed to climb down into whatever that is down there? Uh, it's fine. Uh, the best part about it, no one who works for you, Sindhu, would ever dream of getting near it. Uh, watch your step on the way down. Good, you're safe. Adi told me you were coming. He'll be here soon. <laughs> Racket. We lost Treva. In the courtyard. Blast it! She was our only way into the alarm systems. I know. But I'm hoping these fine people can help us pick up the slack. Uh, quick introductions. I'm Adi. This is Racket. Pretty sure we know who you are. But what do we call you? I'm, uh, Sahar. Great. Well, you probably noticed, but we're trying to get a lot of people out from under the tail of Yusindu, our esteemed employer. You also probably noticed it's not going well. You can! Uh, funny, I was preparing to beg. Words getting around. Some of our people back in town said that you were looking for a Mando shuttle? Uh, when I heard you ask you Sindhu about it, I knew we finally hit a lucky break. As fate would have it, you're after the same thing we are. Uh, more or less. The shuttle is in the refinery's hangar, the same place we're trying to get into. We've spent months... Working out a way to break in, but after that explosion, we're short a lot of the people we needed to make this work. You help us see this through, and we'll all get into that hangar. Right to that Mando shuttle you're looking for. Yusindu locked everything down once he realized we were fighting our way out. Like clockwork. When Mandalorians showed up, we thought that was the end. Turns out they had nothing to do with you, Sindhu. He locked up the Mando shuttle, uh, the one you're after, in the refinery hangar, along with every ship, speeder, and cargo loader in the district. There are enough shuttles in there to get all of us out of here. Off Hutta. To freedom. We just need to get into that hangar. You will. We'll help you. Right? A few things. If it helps, what we need to be done should be very simple for the two of you. The same can't be said if you decide to take on Yusindu and his infinite number of goons on your own. We need to get them out of the way. We also need to make sure our people can defend themselves against any surprises that might be waiting in the hangar. We've tried this enough times to have worked out all the kinks. If we're going to hit Yusindu where it hurts, we need weapons, explosives ways to take out his fancy guards. We really only need enough to clear a safe path to the shuttles. We know exactly what needs to be done. We just need the bodies to do it. 
And we need to help them stay alive in the process. We've got everything broken down over here. Give it a look when you're ready to get started. a good start. Just need to reroute a few more pipelines. Tabana gas we're rerouting, right? It sure is. And we're not done yet.
is too risky. I know it is. But we need to hit Yusinda where it hurts most. In his bank account. Our people can just as easily be caught in the crossfire of all of this. Fine. But just remember, this could have helped everybody who is too scared to fight with us. droids can purge the Tabata gas from the pipelines. Look for a maintenance terminal that'll let you slice into one. Got the droid? Activate the pipeline scrubbers. They'll dump all the Tabata gas to waste collection. Watch out for Yusindu's guards. This is outside the scheduled maintenance window. We'll know something's up. Ah! 
Nice work! We've got someone headed to waste collection to pick up the Tabana gas. modulate the broadcast signal to sound like it's the guard captain's voice, but one of you has to actually say the words. Uh, any volunteers? I'll do it. We're ready. We've never been so ready. If we don't move now, we're never going to get another shot like this. Oh, there is one more thing. Sahar, can you take a look at the encryption tokens on our comm frequencies? We can't risk you Sindhu's people slicing into our chatter. I get the feeling you know a thing or two about the subject. Oh, of course. I'll be right back. This has all been hard on her. Every thought in her head is darkened by our struggle. And the struggles of another. But helping people seems to mend her broken resolve a bit. 
Everything you've done so far will slow down Yusindu's reinforcements, but it won't last forever. If we're gonna pull this off before the slug's backup can get past our defenses, we'll need to split up for the last phase of the plan. That means you're on your own. Can you handle that? That's the spirit! Audie's going to get the hangar's freight elevator up and running. That'll get enough people inside to overwhelm the security teams that are already there. Which means more people on those shuttles, and more people out of this swamp. I'll be running point on the turret defenses, making sure those are shut down before we get into the hangar. You, my friend, have the most important job of all. Even when we control the hangar, our window of time to get out of there is too short. We can't manually input destination coordinates into every shuttle. If you get into the control tower, you can transmit destination codes to everyone all at once. I'll send the coordinates once we're on the move. I've done repairs on the control tower's console before. It can be a little finicky. Let me walk you through how to make it work if you run into any problems. While you two do that, I'll go check on Sahar. Here. Do not tell Adi I gave you this. Because... because he won't understand. Not unless I show him. Just put these coordinates into the control tower console when it's time. The shuttle coordinates Adi's going to send you, they go to Rhodia. He thinks we'll all be safe there. But the huts took him when he was a kid. He hasn't been back since. We won't know anybody. We'll have nothing. It won't be home. The coordinates I gave you will take us to an Evakai rebel camp on Hudda. I've already made contact with them. They're willing to take us in if we pull our weight. He thinks that it's too dangerous to stay, even if we leave the district. He doesn't think we have it in us to fight, even though we've been fighting this whole time. But when it's not your home the Huts have left their stench all over, I'm sure it's easy to leave. Please, don't make me beg. I can't run away like Audie wants me to. Looks like everyone knows what they've got to do. Ready? Time to go.
We're throwing everything we've got at them, but the guards just keep coming! Lockdown procedures. I don't care. Blow it open if you have to. It's Sahar. What is she? You coward snake. this door. I've got it. Incoming. Got a problem here. There's a safety protocol that keeps overriding all of my attempts at overloading the turrets. Same here. Every time I slice past the lockdown operation, I get a warning that the elevator can't run until the emergency systems have been turned off. Are you kidding me? When did you send to install safety features? I don't know, but if I don't figure this out soon, a whole lot of people aren't getting out of here with us. And if that rotten slug gets wind of what we're doing before I knock out these turrets, we're all going to have a bad time. Don't worry, we'll figure this out. We don't have time to reach both of them. I'll be here. What in the blazes do I do about these turrets? You've got this. And the second we're done here, I'm coming to help you. I've got a few ideas, but just hope for the best. There's a panel not far from where you are. You can use it to bypass the elevator's emergency system. I'll see what I can do.
I found the panel, but nothing is working. Flip that circuit. That'll fool the system into thinking there's been a power cut. Done. Adi. I did it! Rock down, flipped it! Where's Audie? How do I do any of this without you? Adi... How am I supposed to protect them? I couldn't even protect him. I am so sorry, but you can't give up. I can't do this alone. You worked too hard for this to stop now. Adi believed you could see this through. You need to believe it too. We need to hurry. What's the plan once we're aboard? 
How do we find the Holocron? Come on, Sahar. You've made it all this way. Don't falter now. I know. I know what I need to do, just... They lost Adi. After all that, he's just... gone. I feel like we made things worse. Everyone will be fine. Racket has everything under control. I hope you're right. I need to know the plan, Sahar. The system's access room is right next to the shuttle bay. We need to get to it fast. I have the codes to shut off alarms, comms, area restrictions, anything that could slow us down, and anything that can keep Hedda from sending the rest of her fleet after us. Whatever you're going to do, make sure you do it quickly. If you do this, word will get back to Hedda and your brother. They'll know it was you. I... I know. Let's go. Enforcements. They know we're here now. We can shut off the alarms and systems access. Go! Oh no. What's happening? My security code stopped working. Come on! Into the maintenance shaft. I can slice the comm channels from there. I released the locks on every door on this ship. If they haven't noticed something's wrong by now... Then we need to move! Not until I shut down their comm channels. takes care of the alarms.
It's her! Stay away from us! No! I'm not going to hurt you! I said leave us alone! It's her fault we're here in the first place! She and her Mando friends ripped us away from our lives, our homes, our families. Most of us didn't even know we could use the Force. And now you know what they're going to make us do? Please, we don't have time to argue. Just come with us. Why should we trust you? It's not like we have much choice. Thank you. Everyone wait here. We'll be back soon. I promise. It's fine. Just hurry!
Had a coal built this? Not just her. If I hadn't... This ends right now. We shut it all down. And without the holocron, Hedda can't do this again. Don't you dare speak! Disgusting, worthless filth! I see what you are. You tricked Hedda. Blinded her with your Jedi sorcery. Turned her away from me. Now you betray her! You betray me! This is why you came back. Why you couldn't stay away. There was still something left to take from me. What did I take from you? Everything! I gave you everything. I turned my back on my friends, on my home, to find you. To fix a mistake that someone else made. I taught you what no one else would. I went against everything I believe in to follow your field marshal. I'm done, Rakan. Hedda's not going to hurt anyone else. We're taking the Holocron. You said everything there is to say. Let's finish this. Go. Now. Rakan, you're going to die if you keep listening to Hedda. And for what? Will she even notice? We can fix this. Both of us. Weak, Sahar! You can't even face me alone! Was 
nothing! Reactor core defense systems have been initialized. I told Hannah not to trust you! Now she will see the truth! I don't care about her, Rikon! Reactor core containment systems damaged. Electronic outflow incidents may occur. You led Hannah off the true path! I didn't even want this! I just wanted to help you! Reactor core containment systems deteriorating. Urgent repairs necessary. Don't do this! We'll all die! I don't care! If that's what it takes to stop you from ruining Hedda's plans! Reactor core containment systems meltdown imminent. All hands abandon ship. the fall that killed you. I'm not finished with you! Why won't you die? left of you. There will be nothing left of you. Why won't you die?
Sahar. Take it. Thank the stars you made it back! Is anyone hurt? We need to get moving now. This is gonna be close! But how long before those Mandalorians track us down again? That explains why no one could tell me where you went after you took that hollow call. And Sar, where is she? She gave everything to make sure I got away safely. Then we'll make sure she's honored for what she did. Tao was starting to think she might see Sahar again. I hate to have to tell her this. You can let Tao know that without Sahar, I wouldn't have this. Darth Maul's holocron. And it's out of Hedda Cole's hands. With this, we'll have nothing to fear from Malgus's plans. After everything we've gone through to find that, it's a shame that it took losing another one of our own to get it. I'm sure Master Nostaral will want to start examining it as soon as possible. It's going to take all of us working together to make sure this doesn't happen again. You're right. I'll start pulling together all the relevant people. Seeing the Holocron in person after all this time is going to be... I don't even know what to think. And what about them? Where are they gonna go? They can stay on Odessan. Sana Rey is more than capable of seeing to their training and keeping them safe. All things considered, they might be better off with you. I'll try to think of some way to explain this to Master Nostaral. Talk soon.
Jakaya. I owe you an apology. With the first whisper of betrayal, you said to reign in the clans. I should have listened. But I'll cut you a deal. You don't say I told you so? Then I won't either. We needed someone suited to all the practical nonsense of leadership. I told you that wasn't me. If Hedda continues, we lose everything. All of us, the Republic and the Sith, will destroy the Mandoate no matter whose banner they carry. Shielding us from an outside threat, ensuring our future, is something I can do. It's what I will do. who can tell me how to find her. The reason that Sith Bespatrache ended up in her hands. That's a Jagaya. I hope you understand. <laughs> 